modifiers and modifier stack. So in 3ds Max, we can use modifiers to modify our objects. We can apply more than one modifier to any particular object, and these modifiers can be used at our sub-object level. To add a modifier to an object, we will select on an object. We're going to go up into our command panel and choose modify. Then in the drop down list, we're going to pick a modifier. I'm going to just pick on Ben to, to show this for right now. You'll see the Ben modifier is placed above the primitive box. So in here, we can turn on and off the light bulb. So when we turn it on and off, uh, we are be turning off the effects of the modifier. We also have a plus symbol near uh, and we have kind of some sub objects of the modifier. In this case we have the gizmo in the center of the modifier. Now if we come down below we can pin the stack so we can pin it to the cork board uh, and then we can unpin it. We can show the end results so when this is on we're showing the end results. When this is off, uh, we are not seeing the results of the modifier. We can set to make unique. This will convert this to a unique, uh, the instant object into a unique copy. And so it comes independent then. So we can modify them independently without affecting the other. We can remove the modifier from the stack by picking this. So I have the bend modifier, for example. I hit this, bang, it's gone. So I'll come in and put it back in. I'll put the bend back in, and now it's back above the box. Over here, we can configure the modifier set. This is used to control the display of the modifiers in this modifier stack. We can also right click on the band and get to some shortcut menus in which we can cut and copy uh, and paste these modifiers around. We can rename things as well. Um, we can also collapse things to uh, our collapse all. When we collapse all, uh, it will be a editable poly. So our modifiers uh, we can pick the modifiers in our drop down list and they show up here in our modifier stack. This that's this box area right here. And uh, so this is the name of our modifier and this is where we're going to end up uh, having the different uh, modifiers show up. So these are our modifiers and modifier stack.